Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel na kung saan okay, uh, ating pong pag-aaralan ang algebraic expressions. Now for the second lesson okay, or the second video ng, alge ng ating algebraic expression, okay, pag-aaralan natin or let us study how to write an algebraic phrase for each of the following English phrase. Number one, seven times M. So, para mag, uh, i-transfer mo lang or translate mo lang sa numbers or in a variable or algebraic term. Okay, seven. Okay, ano nga yung symbol natin para sa times? Parenthesis, di ba? Times M. Or, pwede mo rin gawing seven times M. Or, pwede mo rin isulat na 7M. Okay? So, kahit anin dyan, tama ang sagot mo. Next one. The product, okay, product is multiplied of 5 and B. So, again, pwede mo siyang isulat na may parenthesis. Pwede rin 5, then yung dot. B or 5B. Okay? Actually, isa lang. Is you can write only one answer. Okay? I, I'm just giving you uh, some options. Next. Number three. Twice the number X. Okay. So, twice, it means two times. Diba? So, pwede natin isulat. Padali na lang natin. So, 2X. Okay. Next. Four. The sum of x and y. Okay. Notice the word sum is addition. So the sum of x and y. Next. Okay. 35 okay. increase by m. So pag sinabing increase, we are going to add. So 35 Increase by M. Okay. Next one. Okay. Add 4 to 5X. So, let us add 4 to 5X. Easy, right? Next one. 7. X divided by 7. So, X. So, paano nga ang ating form? Sa algebra, in a fractional form. Okay, very good. Okay, x over 7 or x divided by 7. Next one. The difference between m and 7. So, notice the word difference. So, what are we going to do is okay, minus or subtraction. Okay, so, between m and 7. Okay, the difference between M and 7. It means M minus 7. Next one. M decrease by 9. So, M decrease by 9. So easy. Next. The quotient of 7 and twice X. Okay, quotient, it means divide. The quotient of 7 and okay, twice is 2 times, right? Twice x. The quotient of 7, okay, twice and twice x. Next one. x less than 7. Okay, so for this... Uh, Algebraic statement, okay, or English statement, okay. Uh, maraming mga estudyante na nagkakamali sila ng ganito. Ganito ang sinusulat nila, x minus 7, okay, which is wrong. Okay. This is wrong. Dapat ito muna, 7 minus x. Okay, so ito ang tama. 
Alright? So, ganito, ganito na lang yan. Kung isipin mo, kung lalagyan natin siya ng word na is. Okay? Kung lalagyan lang natin, x is less than 7. Ibig sabihin, mas kokonte itong x kaysa sa 7. Okay? So, 7, mas malaki siya. So, minus x. So, ganun na lang yung pinakang technique. Okay? x less than 7, o isipin mo na lang, x is less than 7, ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung second number na binanggit. Okay? Next one. 12, multiply s by 4. Okay, so you can write uh, s times 4, pero ang pinakang uh, proper way of writing it is uh, number muna bago ang variables. 4s. Next. Twice the difference of m and n. Okay. Twice the difference of m and m. Hindi niya sinabing twice of m okay, minus n. Okay? Hindi. No. The difference of m and n. So, twice, two times. Right? The difference of m and n. Ibig sabihin, kunin mo muna yung difference ng m and n bago mo magmultiply ng 2. Okay? The difference or twice the difference of m and n. Next one. The sum of 4x and y. Okay, the sum, so it's addition of 4x and 7y. Last example. Okay, combine x with 24. Pag sinabing combine, addition pa rin yan. Okay? x plus 24. Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you so much. Pagpalain po kayo ng ating Panginoon Diyos at ako po si Control TV. Maraming salamat po.